I'm Ryan Helling, one of the owners of Swiftsure Yachts, the North American distributor for Allure Yachting and official partner of Garcia Yacht. In early September, I traveled from Seattle, Washington to St. John's, Newfoundland to join Jimmy Cornell aboard his Garcia Exploration 45 Aventura 4 for the 1100 mile trip to Newport, Rhode Island. After a summer of sailing in the Arctic, Jimmy and his daughter Doina had just completed the delivery of the boat to St. John's from Nuke, Greenland. Sailing double-handed, they made good time on these passages, which is no surprise, as I would learn that Aventura is a comfortable, safe, and easily handled vessel, and of course Jimmy and Doina do not lack any experience offshore. Joining us for this trip was Lou Morgan, American owner of Garcia Exploration 45, hull number 4, presently under construction in France. Lou is a highly experienced sailor himself with a circumnavigation under his belt and plans for high latitude cruising with his family in the future. We provisioned, did laundry, and completed a few small projects, turning the boat around in just over 24 hours. After a fantastic fish dinner in town and a few nice bottles of wine, we turned in for the night. Midday Saturday, we departed the beautiful harbor of St. John's navigating through their narrow entrance that is nearly hidden once a ways offshore. We set out beating into a stiff southerly, a difficult way to begin a passage but a good test of the boat for Lou and myself. After two days the breeze shifted to a more favorable direction and we enjoyed beautiful sailing with conditions ranging from a close reach to dead downwind for the rest of the trip. Performance is impressive as one would expect from a design by the venerable Rackley firm. She sails well on all points of sail, but of course excels in off-the-wind conditions, where I was impressed at how well she went even in lighter breeze. She's not a light boat, but she seems always to be itching to move forward. Our generation was accomplished via a 180-watt solar panel, a wind generator, and a towing generator. There is no diesel generator aboard Aventura, Jimmy does not believe one to be necessary, citing both environmental impacts and added complexity. Running the main engine to charge the batteries was not necessary, despite the fact that the autopilot was constantly in use and she is fitted out with radar, full instrumentation, electric winches, water maker, and all the comforts of home. It was a joy to watch Aventura's simple charging system pouring the amps into her batteries, even in the middle of the night. Ergonomically, Aventura's design is fantastic for serious offshore sailing. Her cockpit is roomy and functional, yet well protected by a fiberglass hard dodger inspired by the short-handed offshore racing boats. But in truth, there was little need to be in the cockpit unless one desired. Watch keeping was accomplished from the comfort of the leather captain's chair at the helm station below decks, a real treat for night watches. I will note that the visibility from this station is very good. An occasional check around deck is all that was required. Seven days of sailing saw us rounding Cape Race at the northern end of Cape Cod, bound for the Cape Cod Canal, Buzzards Bay, and finally Newport, Rhode Island. Despite a slow start, Aventura averaged just under seven knots for the 1100 mile passage. Since her launch in May 2014, Aventura has now logged over 8,000 nautical miles at sea an impressive tally over the span of four months. She'll be based on the U.S. East Coast for the fall 2014 and 2015 season appearances at the major shows. Contact Swiftsure Yachts for more information about the Exploration 45 or any of the other Garcia offerings.